Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new. Make sure that you're subscribed, that way you'll never miss out on another video. All right, so today is 11-11. It's a lucky day. Um, so I decided to do a quick pick a card reading for you guys. Um, this is just an 11-11 message that you need to hear. All right, so what I'm gonna have you do is pick a pile number. We have pile number one. Actually, you could pick a crystal too. Pile number one or orange calcite, pile number two, labradorite, pile number three, citrine, pile number four, rose quartz. So go ahead, listen to your inner voice, listen to your inner guidance, which one is jumping out at you. Go ahead and choose. And I have a quick little announcement while you guys are choosing. Okay, so I am coming out with a cleansing spell box or cleansing ritual box, whatever you wanna call it. Um, this box is going to have everything you're going to need for a deep cleansing, deep spir spiritual cleansing. Um, on the full moon, I will be releasing a video on how to cleanse yourself. This video is going to be for everybody. I will keep the basics in there, but it will be also specifically geared towards people who buy the box from me because that way, whatever I'm using, whatever I'm doing you have the same exact stuff the same exact items and then I can show you what you could do with it on the full moon now the last day to order the box is going to be November 22nd midnight that's going to be the last day to order the box um, and we're gonna start to ship it after that so you get it on the November 30th full moon so then you're ready with all of the stuff you need to do this deep cleansing on the night of the full moon or three days before or three days after the full moon too. Now you can buy my box on Patreon. So if anybody is interested in this, there's going to be more information over on Patreon. Now in this box, you get all of the things that are over here that you see plus more. I'm gonna be preparing my own candles, charging them up with Gali energy and you'll get those and um, as well as a lot more things uh, that are going to be thrown in the box for you for a deep spiritual cleanse. So if you guys are interested, then head over to Patreon. Card pile number one, or everybody that picked the orange calcite crystal. Let's go ahead and see what what is 1111 bringing you? What is the message for you specifically on 1111? Three of swords, you're leaving something behind something that was creating conflict in your life, something that was creating a lot of mental turmoil, mental struggle, mental confusion, anxiety, anything mental, it was making you off balance. So you're leaving that. Whether that was a lifestyle, a habit, an addiction, um, a relationship, a job, a home, you know, environment, um, it could be different things for different people. For a lot of you, I do see this is a period of grieving or like uh, some kind of a loss or sorrow or sadness and it kind of mutated itself. <clears throat> that energy kind of mutated itself into conflict in your life. You became so defensive that you would just get irritated or just there would just be so much conflict in your life with with people in your life, with situations, and there was just a lot of conflict, you guys. Um, but what I see is that this conflict, all of this conflict, all of this struggle, all of this coming, like, clash, you know, things clashing, that's coming to an end. There's a, that was a period of your life that is coming to an end. Um, <clears throat> especially for those of you in a relationship, expect the energy in your relationships to change to where it's more compassionate, to where it's more um, loving and understanding and communicating. Um, and if not, then this could be with whatever you were having turmoil against, whatever you didn't want to let go of. Maybe you were scared of letting something go or a relationship or whatever. You're scared of letting something go. And it just create it just it scared you so much, but it was creating so much sadness and turmoil in your life. But for some reason, you were afraid to let it go. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have um, a five of swords. Yeah, you guys were really afraid to let something go, and it it wasn't even good for you. You guys knew how bad it was, 
But I don't know, you just didn't want to let it go. Um, but that period is definitely coming to an end. With the Two of Cups here, we have a lot of good uh, energy in your relationships especially. We also have the King of Pentacles here. All right, 1111 is for you guys specifically, is bringing you a lot of wisdom, mental clarity, solitude, loyalty. We have the wolf right here. Royalty, um, you get to see who is in your pack. You get just a lot of knowledge, wisdom, and passion around you. So whatever this was that you didn't wanna let go of, <clears throat> it was stealing a lot of your passion, your love, stealing the energy away from your relationships too, so. Hmm. We have here, spend time with animals. So for a lot of you, if you have animals, if you have a pet, um, then spend some time with them because right now, especially for you guys, especially on 11-11, the more you connect with animals, the more your energy becomes very high vibration and it becomes kind of hopping in the spiritual worlds, hopping between worlds. When you co connect with an animal, it's almost like you get a glimpse of their world. It's a different, different feeling, different world when you connect with an animal. So, and even like your own pets. So a lot of you guys, um, your spirit is going to actually, it's going to be like therapy for you to connect with animals around this 1111 time. Um, a lot of you may be getting a new pet. A lot of you may be rescuing a pet. One may happen to like stumble into your yard and then you end up keeping it. I don't know, a lot of you guys are just gonna be connecting really, really strongly with animals and it's actually going to teach you a lot of unconditional love. We also have here Amble with Contentment. So waiting rather than acting is going to be most advantageous right now. Okay, so don't make fast decisions right now. You're being told, um, you know, let all of this energy clear up, let what needs to go, let it go. You know, the stuff that was in your head, let it clear up, you know, let your relationships get a little bit balanced and better and give yourself some time to get some mental clarity, all right, and then proceed. Right now, just move with contentment. Just, you know, enjoy moving forward. That's it, that's what you need to know right now. Um, develop mental clarity. Yes, so incorporate more purple in your life because purple gives you mental clarity. Purple is the color of our crown chakra, which is where we, you know, connect with our higher self, God, ancestors, the spiritual world, the divine, whatever you want to call it. That our connection to that is through our crown chakra, which is purple, which is mental clarity, all mental. So incorporate more purple into your life, maybe. Um, purple crystals, purple clothes, purple food, um, purple candles, you know, have fun with it. And the last card that popped up for you guys is turmeric, diversity. So a lot of you guys, it seems, maybe are bored with something. Um, maybe you just want something new, something more. You want something different, okay? So don't hastily jump into anything just because you want something different because it's gonna cause turmoil. So take your time, okay? Don't make fast decisions. And in your spells, in your rituals, use turmeric because turmeric invites diversity. It invites, it enriches your life, enriches the energy. Whatever intention you're setting, it just gives variety to it, spices it up, makes it exciting. You could use it for a job, yourself, your spirit. Like you could use it for your love life. There's so many ways you can use turmeric. And for a lot of you, I see a lot of you guys working on your sacral chakra because you guys were attracted to this orange calcite. And this is the crystal of the sacral chakra. So sacral chakra is all about your sexuality, um, your creativity, how, how creative you are, how much energy you have, how um, comfortable are you with your sexuality, things like that. So that is highly governed by the sacral chakra. And I think a lot of you guys, that's why you are choosing to let go of stuff that was kind of blocking your sacral chakra. <clears throat> For a lot of you, I feel like you, you weren't even like, um, what is it called? Uh, like feeling like being intimate. 
I think that's how I would put it because this is YouTube I can't really say but like a lot of you were afraid of it and so I think a lot of you are healing that because you're choosing to let go of a lot of things. A lot of the things were in your head. There were triggers and anxieties about sex in your head. A lot of you guys are healing from that and you want to explore more of your sexuality possibly. Um, and you're getting rid of past beliefs about it. Um, you know, so that could be a possibility for a lot of you. But that's what's going on with 1111 for you guys. This is a good time for you because you're clearing out the old, reawakening your creativity, your sexuality, adding spice into your life. Um, so I think you guys are on the right track. Um, do things that kind of help you get out of your own head a little bit. Um, and your cards look really good. You, it just seems like you're really headed in the right direction and 1111 in your life the more you see it i think for a lot of you guys the message is hey you're going in the right direction keep going that's what 1111 keeps trying to tell you like hey you're going in the right direction keep going don't get distracted just keep going all right you guys i hope you guys like this reading thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you real soon bye all right, for everybody that picked pile number two or the Labradorite crystal, let's go ahead and see what 1111 is trying to tell you. Um, the first card that pops up is flow like water. So with this card comes the message of go with the flow. Stop resisting something. Stop resisting. Stop fighting it. Just go with the flow. You guys need to relax. That's the first message that comes up. Now, we also have here lavender. You guys are burning yourselves out. I don't know what it is that you guys are going through, but you're burning yourself out and you need to slow down. Connect to mind, body, and soul. So a lot of you guys uh, may be being asked to incorporate more lavender into your life. Lavender is calming, it's soothing. It's great for muscles and joints and aches and pains, um, sleep. It's good for relaxing, it's good for mental clarity, it's good for your crown chakra, like it's a really good herb and you could use it in so many different ways. Lavender tea, lavender candles, incense, soap, um, essential oils, so many different ways. Uh, you could bake with it. So, you know, find a way to use lavender, maybe incorporate into your life to calm your spirit down a little bit because it just seems like it's overworked for some reason. Um, Okay, we have the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands comes to tell you that you're too active. Jesus, you are so active. Wow, okay. This is a very, very free-spirited person when the Knight of Wands comes through. Okay, but um, are you guys feeling like you guys have to put up a front or a face for, for someone or for people? Are you guys like maybe feeling like you have to put on a mask. I get that from a lot of you guys too. Um, Knight of Wands also is a very creative person. Maybe a lot of you guys, your creativity has been so blocked and 1111 is going to be coming to slow you down. So I think a lot of you guys, when you guys see the number 1111, it's, hey, you need to slow down. Uh, otherwise, you're gonna burn your energy out, your life force energy. You're losing your life force energy because you're going too fast. You need to slow down, rest, retreat, give your energy something to calm it down and to relax, soothe your energy. I think when you guys see 1111, it's take a break, pause, do something relaxing for yourself. Um, we also have here the moon. That's so interesting, you guys. Flow like water and the moon card right underneath. You guys have to uh, not be so afraid to go inwards. A lot of you guys keep things inside and it just burns you up. You gotta release all of that. The moon sometimes keeps secrets. It's trusting your intuition too. Um, a lot of you guys have lost trust in your own self, I see, and you're being like 1111 is also uh, when you see 1111 for you guys, especially group number two, um, it's telling you to trust yourself, to trust the decision you're making, trust yourself in your decisions, trust the path you're on, 
you know, if you're struggling with something, trust you know, it'll it'll show you. The number 1111 for you has a few different meanings. Um, the next card I have here is the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is a really, really good card. So Queen of Wands brings a very feisty, spirited, confident, self-assured person. So you guys are really clearing out a lot of insecurity. And you're going through this like growth spurt, I would say, of where you're learning to be okay kind of be okay with your insecurities and just be like you know this is me this is who i am like i'm not gonna hide myself i'm not gonna hide myself moon energy is hiding um i'm just gonna be free you guys a lot of you guys are coming out of your shell um i also have here violet so create a balanced life we also we have a lot of purples here um in, again, incorporate violets and purples into your life. We got a double confirmation here. It's going to create a lot of balance in your life, which means your mind will be balanced with your uh, soul, will be balanced with your body. You see that? Also, we have here lavender. Again, you guys, sleep. Okay, you're being called to sleep. So you guys, when you see 1111, it's really telling you like, hey, you need to rest, relax, right? Flow instead of resist get into your divine feminine nature instead of your fiery masculine nature okay rest relax use lavender and the last card that pops up for you guys is every step counts there's an advantage in taking things slowly mm, you guys you're look at look at the card it's purple and yellow look at your reading it's purples and yellows what the heck Breathe deeply and fully as you consider your options. Okay, Labradorite, Stone of Magic. Okay, this is so interesting. I feel like you guys especially have a lot of ability to manifest very, very quickly, but you burn that energy out uh, in stress and anxiety and worry and this and that and whatever else. Um, I think that 1111 is coming to teach you uh, how to convert your power into something that you could just like, you know, hate. like you see this, she controls her power at will and he controls his power at will. She's having fun and he is disciplined. You see that balance, create a balanced life. You see how everything is coming together for you guys? Um, yeah, so I think that this is the end of your guys' reading. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this helped you and you got some more clarity from it. And I'll talk to you real soon. Bye. All right, for everybody that picked pile number three or the citrine crystal, let's go ahead and see what 1111 is coming to show you. All right, so the first card that pops up is Five of Cups. Ooh, you guys. What are you guys pining over? What are you guys focusing on that is so negative? There is definitely something that you're focusing on that makes you in sorrow and despair and like sad. Five of Cups energy is feeling like you're abandoned or unloved, um, regretting something. A lot of you guys may be dealing with grief or loss. Um, and I think it's important that you just understand that this will change. The Wheel of Fortune comes up. The Wheel of Fortune is a card where good fortune is coming. There's going to be a very, very positive, very, very good turning point, luck um, coming through for you guys. And so every time I think you guys, specifically group number three, because you guys pick Citrine. Citrine is the crystal of luck. It's the crystal of gambling. It's the crystal of success, wealth, happiness, abundance. And the Wheel of Fortune is all of that. It's luck, it's gambling, it's good fortune. Um, so very, very, very soon group number three. And 1111, when you guys see 1111, just know that this is in the works for you that things are moving the wheel is turning and it's turning in your favor and you're coming out of this energy uh, we also have here the six of wands a lot of fiery passionate energy is coming your way um this is the victory card this is where you know you could be awarded something you could be recognized for something um, good news can be coming to you and success in something is 
something Six of Wands brings. So a lot of you guys are going to be moving towards something where people are going to praise you. People are going to recognize you. Um, and it may even possibly turn into some kind of an income for a lot of you. Um, I also see here the card, Learn to Scan Your Body. So this card pops up when your spirit is trying to tell you, hey, pay attention to your body. Like if you need a nap, don't push yourself to work even more. Listen to your body. Um, I feel like that's something that will really help a lot of you guys tune back into your intuition because a lot of you guys I feel like uh, have been disconnected with your intuition and it makes you feel colorless, makes you your, feel, your life feel a little dull. Um, and so learn to scan your body, learn to listen to your body. If your body is like, hey, I feel like drinking some cold water, I feel so dehydrated, don't be like... If you guys hear anything, I think that's my dogs in the other room. Don't be like, oh, I'm just, I'll get the water later. Don't be like, I'm, just, I'm too lazy, I'll drink water later. You know, listen to your body right then and there. You know, really, really take the time to listen to your body. If your body's like, man, I could use a bath. Or, man, I could use a nice day at the beach. Like, my body just wants to sit on the sand, feel the water on my feet. Like, listen to your body. It's your spirit, your body communicating to you don't ignore it that's a big message for you guys another thing is dance which is movement so a lot of you guys are being called to move your body the way you feel like moving your body like a lot of you guys like just a lot a lot of uh don't be so uptight is coming through for some of you guys too uh, you know, let loose a little bit, just relax, just have fun, dance a little bit, you know, let your body move to the rhythm of a song. A lot of you guys, I feel like just need to kind of relax a little bit. All right, we have here Seven of Swords and Eight of Pentacles. Ooh. So many messages just popped into my head right now. Seven of Swords. Let's start with that. So Seven of Swords comes um, when there's something you're running away from. Or, you know, there's something you don't want to face. You're hiding. You're trying not to be seen, trying not to get caught, okay? Or just, just really want to isolate yourself. Um, and then we have the Eight of Pentacles. So Eight of Pentacles comes and tells you that you're going to master your craft. You're going to enjoy your job. There's success. There's success in the material world. So are you guys running away from your own success? Are you trying to hide from your own success? Are you trying to, I don't know, like, I don't know, you guys. Um, let me pull another card for clarification. Rediscover your zeal. Pay attention to the passion you're feeling for discovery, learning, exploration, spirituality, travel, your work, and your relationships. Passion and desire go together, especially as inspiration. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of you guys are not allowing yourself to have fun and feel good. That's a big thing coming through, and just a lot of you guys are very serious. And a lot of, every time that you guys see 1111, I think... Uh, it's also calling you to let loose a little bit, like have a little fun, do something nice for yourself. Have a, like, I don't know, like what would make you happy? Do something to make you happy. That's what 11, 11 comes to tell you a lot of the time. Nine, 10, 11, do you guys see that? Nine plus two. Um, another thing that maybe when 11, 11 comes in your life, it's also telling you, hey, listen to your body. Um, and then the last card for you guys is Rosemary. All right, so Rosemary is a very protective herb. It is the herb of your mind, mental clarity, memories, um, focus, concentration, you know, a lot of the things to do with your mind. So Rosemary tea would be really good. Um, rosemary rinse, Rosemary in your bath, rosemary candles, rosemary incense. There's so many ways you could use rosemary, cook with it. Um, 
but I feel like a lot of you guys are being asked to follow your passions. It's okay. Listen to your body and then follow it because it's leading you somewhere. So that's a lot of the times when you see 1111, it's like, hey, screaming at you, like, hey, listen to your body. It's taking you somewhere. All right. All right, all right you guys. So I think that's where I'm going to end your reading. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye. All right, for everybody that picked card pile number four or the Rose Quartz Crystal, let's go ahead and see what are the 1111 messages meant for you. All right, the first thing that I see here is the chariot decisions. So there needs to be a decision that has to be made. Maybe you're delaying that. Um, the chariot also brings action. It brings change, a journey. Uh, for a lot of you guys, it could be something to do with your car, like um, a new car, trading your car in, or something to do with your car. We also have the sun energy. So you're moving in the right direction. Hmm. Or are you split? I think the cards are saying that whatever direction you go in, you're going to be happy. So don't stress too much about it. Don't fret about it too much because the decision that you're going to be making, you're going to be happy. It's, it's, it's going to lead to happiness. I don't know what it is, but it's definitely going to lead to happiness. We have here the lovers. The lovers is partnership. It's love. It's deep love. It's um, a choice. So lovers can also be a choice, which that's a double choice card, the chariot and the lover. So are you guys choosing between a partner? Are you guys choosing to stay or go in a relationship? Um, three of swords. Hmm. All right, so there's a, there's something in your guys' life right now, the place that you're at, the relationship that you're in, something in your life right now that you do not like, that just is ripping you apart. You don't like it, you're not happy, you, you're not, you, it's not. Oh my God, you guys are miserable. I don't know what it is. Are you guys miserable about, you know, the place you're living in? Are you guys miserable in a relationship? Are you guys like in a relationship and you don't wanna leave the relationship, but there's, it's just misery, like what is going on? Because something that is ma just making you sad, okay? Um, a lot of you guys are being asked to make a choice. There's a decision that you need to make. It, it could be like deciding to make a lifestyle change, deciding to leave a relationship, deciding to stay in a relationship. I don't know, it's different for everyone, but whatever you guys choose, it's to end this like turmoil energy and to go towards this really happy energy. A lot of you guys are being asked to just relax right now, take a break, soak in a bath, maybe do a spiritual rinse. Um, I actually have, uh, oh no, that's on Patreon. It's a spiritual rinse video, but spiritual rinse is basically you just boil herbs that are cleansing like mint, rosemary, hyssop, uh, wormwood, uh, basil, sage, mint, like those are really, really good, but you boil those and then you wait for it to cool down, you strain it, and then you put it in your bath water or you rinse yourself off with it and it cleanses you of curses, hexes, spell work done to you, um, you know, evil eye, negative energy, all that stuff. It's really, really good. And maybe I think a lot of you guys would benefit from that. So you got the water card again. Okay, experience, peace, and calm. So for you guys, I think a lot of the time when 1111 comes, it's asking you to slow down, like calm down, um, relax a little bit, maybe take a bath. Like it's time to just rest, retreat, just take a little breather. Um, I'm just trying to look at the cards because I feel like there's so many different things going on for so many different, like, people. A lot of you guys uh, had split from a relationship and it gave the relationship some time and some distance and thinking space and a lot of you guys are coming back together um, and you're going through that, like, that 
time of the relationship where you're talking things out and um, talking about like the heartbreak and talking about what happened and talking about what led to the separation and the outcome looks really really good and maybe you guys can like take a bath together It'd be really good so 11 11 is always telling you hey calm down like do something really relaxing for yourself and pay attention to the ones that you love like like feed off that energy feed off that love because it's really good for you single-mindedness choose your own path and what is best suited to you so again you guys got a decision card are you guys like stuck between making some kind of decision um just relax calm your mind you guys it'll come to you it's really going to come to you but you guys have to slow down and choose your own path don't feel forced or anything like choose what you truly want because the outcome is really really good the outcome of your decision is in your favor um and then garlic okay so you guys need to do something to repel negative energy that's twice that that happened for a lot of you guys maybe you're in a relationship and there's conflict and fighting and arguments and you're being asked to get that energy out with using garlic like burn garlic garlic incense um, boil garlic and then you can spray it all over your house or use it in your mop water uh, cook with garlic garlic tea there's so many ways you could put garlic in a candle um, but use garlic to cleanse your house you can even uh, put garlic in your yard as a form of protection but a lot of you guys like there's so much happiness for you in your life but uh, I just feel like there's evil eye maybe sent your way or like just past things that you just don't want to get over that you're holding on to so you're being asked every time 11 11 comes that like look do something nice for yourself do something sweet to your, for yourself it could also be a message like hey let's do a protection spell real quick you know it could also be a message for you to choose your own path and to focus on the people that you really love that specific person a lot of you guys are in a relationship that person is like like a soulmate type of a person um, you don't need to be running away from them. Uh, let go of the past, let go. You know, that's another message that is coming through for you guys. And Rose Quartz, unconditional love. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. Or no, tomorrow's Wednesday. I'm so used to doing the Friday pick of cards. Have a great rest of your week. And I'll talk to you real soon. Bye.